one thing that we um, that we all have to be careful about, right? And this is um, if you're a, a young leader, a student athlete, staff that support them, you, you fall anywhere in this anywhere in this group or in any one of these groups, we have to be very, very careful to make sure that we always remain who we are authentically, right? If that looks like uh, us standing up for what we believe in, if that looks like us sharing our thoughts, beliefs, passions, whatever those things might be, because if we don't, then we're going to put the world in a massive uh, amount of trouble. So today we're going to go ahead and dive in and we're going to talk about just that, like being who you authentically say you are. Let's go ahead and get into the episode. Welcome to Young Lamar Podcast. Family, family, what's going on? What's going on? Welcome to another episode of Beyond the Ball. I'm Jonathan Jones, and today, like I said, we're going to dive in talking about being authentically who you are, right? When people are watching, when no one's watching, whatever, like, like, so the reason I want to talk about this is a few reasons, right? Because I had the opportunity to do a speaking engagement, and um, after I did the speaking engagement, the principal asked me a few questions. And as a matter of fact, we're just going to go ahead and dive into the clip, and then uh, after we dive into the clip, I'm going to come back, and then I'm going to break it down because I think it's uh, I think it's just that it's just that important for us. So JJ, mm. you are a podcaster. It's an influential platform where you share. Um, words and wisdom and advice to benefit other people and as you navigate um, social media and, and YouTube and those things you see where certain people may have found a sweet spot in a mm -hmm. niche with how they deliver how they communicate how they educate the masses with their the product or their message and their voice how do you stay true and authentic to you in that lane when it'd be easy to want to copycat what's going on over here or emulate what's going on over here? How do you stay true to you and your path? Yeah, so I, I think there are, uh, and I, I think it's funny that we're out of school and I'm about to say this, but I, but I think within academia, you know, we're taught not to cheat, right? Mm -hmm. We're taught not to cheat. Don't look off anybody else's paper, mm -hmm. study, have your own notes, everything like that. Mm -hmm. But I think when it comes to entrepreneurship, when it comes to business, content creation, there are certain like models mm -hmm. that, that the model is still solid and we can follow the model but we just can't take our personality out of the equation. Mm -hmm. We can't extract our experiences. So th for me, that's what I always do. I always share my experiences. Yes, there are other people's models that I've seen right. and I've like tweaked something. Because for instance, I was talking with Reginald earlier uh, about, about a certain creator named Nikki Saunders and she does amazing things, but she goes live Monday through Friday. I'm not gonna go live Monday through Friday, uh, but I might go live here and there, mm -hmm. right? So it's, you can take bits and pieces of what other people are doing as long as you don't, or as long as I don't extract my personality or, and I start talking a certain way, but I don't, I don't talk like that. Mm -hmm. Or if I stray away from sharing my faith, mm -hmm. and actually, uh, like a previous episode I just did, I, I shared my faith, because I was like, I don't think I really shared in depth. I, I walked down the Romans Road and everything. Mm, wow. So it's, it's just the fact of understanding who are you, what are your principles, what do you believe, and then staying true and sharing that. If it, if it comes in the form of somebody else's model, I mean, I think that's fine because right. you're still sharing your story, your experience, where you came from. So that would be my, my uh, response there. Okay, so you're saying that you can take um, maybe an angle they take, but stay true to your authenticity, mm -hmm. um, true to your story, true to your personal narrative, and have that kind of bleed out through that system or process. Most definitely. And, and then even the other part about, because I know we live in a social media generation, you know, the crop and the filter here, filter there. So if I know that I have like a snort when I laugh, don't edit that out. Leave that in there. <laughs> you know, because there are other people who, you know, might have that snort or they, like might, that? Yeah, or they <laughs> might have a certain cork or whatever it might be. Leave that in there because there's somebody else out there who feels self-conscious about that thing. Mm. And by you welcoming that, now you're, you're, you're calling out your people, mm. right? You're calling out your tribe, like they say. Mm -hmm. And you can begin to build community and security around that so that that person feels confident that if they decide to do something on social media or if they decide to speak out in public anywhere, when they snort, they won't feel as self-conscious. So, you know, staying true to that narrative and 
just really being who you are. If you like, you know, just like some of the students ask me, you know, do I like waffles or pancakes? Me not saying I like one or the other because I know it's going to make this student feel better, but me saying what I really like. So what you're saying is authenticity breeds authenticity, and snorting would breed snorting. So if you start <laughs> snorting right now, I would start doing that. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> if you're a snorter. Okay, yeah, I'm yeah, not. If, if I'm you're not. a snorter, okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, at, at, at the end of the day, yeah, authenticity breeds, breeds authenticity. That's good. I'm with it. So family, look, I, I wanted to share that clip because I think that we are in a space now to where if we're not careful, we can just go whichever way the wind blows. And now I want, I want, you, to, I want you to consider this, right? If you're somebody out there, you're listening, you're somebody out there who's watching, I want you to talk to me like if you're on YouTube comment, like down in the little comment section or if you're on Spotify, then you can write in the little Q&A section. But like, have you ever been in a spot to where you, you felt yourself like changing up based on who you were around? Right. You felt yourself starting to do um, different processes and started to start swagger jacking people or like copying people because I've been there. Right. Like, I mean, I'm 35 now and I'm to the point now to where. If I see something that I like, I will replicate it, but I'm putting my own twist or my own spin on it. But I won't get lost in somebody else's sauce, for lack of better words. So, like, have you ever been there? Have you ever been in that spot to where um, you've been comparing yourself? Been in that spot to where you've been, yeah, li like comparing and allowing that comparison really to, like, haunt you a little bit because you've either seen something somebody else has done, you've wanted that success, uh, and then you tried to completely replicate it just the same way that they have. Like, like talk to me if, if y'all ever have. Um, but I'm curious, and I, and I want you just to begin to think, like, who am I, right? Like, why do I like the things that I like? Do, do I like the things that I like because my friends like those things? Do I like the things that I like because... Uh, there was exposure of those things, of those entities, of those ideas, of those concepts. And then I accepted those. Or like were these pressures that were put on me that I just decided to go with, all, go with the grain all because I, I was like forced to in a sense, right? Like you started playing a sport that you had no desire to play, but you just did it because you wanted to make your parents happy. Or another one, like I've met some students that have taken uh, certain classes and they ended up majoring in this particular field of study all because their parents were paying for it or this is what their parents wanted them to do, right? So, so just think today, how can you be authentic and how can you be true to yourself? Because if you're not being true to yourself, if, if you're not being true to yourself at your core, this is going to be something that really will haunt you in the long run. No, but, but, no, but seriously, like if, if you're not being true to yourself, then you're going to cheat yourself out on the opportunity or the life that you could be living unapologetically as you. Right. Free to like anime because you like anime free to, you know, what I'm saying eat at certain places because that's where you like to go and like to rock with free to create a certain type of content, um, not worrying about other people's judgment. Y'all, there are a lot of people out here who have passions, who have goals, who have desires, but they literally will change those things all because of the people that they're around and they don't think it would fit well with those individuals. So I want to challenge you today. I want to challenge you just just to consider, right? And this is coming from me because I I was a follower at some points in my life, right? Like I can remember doing certain things like in middle school and elementary school type deal, a little bit in high school. But then when I got to college, I started saying, nah, I don't want to go there. Y'all can go there. Nah, I'm not rocking with that. Y'all can have that, right? So I want to encourage you with the same exact thing, right? Start today living your life free. Imagine what that would look like. 
imagine what it would look like for you to show up as yourself, to wear the clothes you want to wear, to rock the hairstyle you want to rock, to be you and be free doing it. Family, it's Jonathan Jones. This is Beyond the Ball. Uh, make sure to stay connected with us by following at Beyond the Ball Media on, on Instagram. And also, we've been getting active on TikTok. You can go to Jonathan Jones Speaks on TikTok, and uh, we've been getting active there. Okay? So until next time, family, this is Beyond the Ball. We help students holistically succeed beyond their degree. Until next time, peace and God bless.